So how do I enable the new UI? That's an easy one. Head over to your settings, search for new UI and select the checkbox. You'll need to restart your IDE, but then you're all set. Okay, cool. Let's have a tour. It's a cleaner layout with functionality grouped so you know where to look. For example, your project information, your VCS information, including visual indicators of incoming and outgoing changes, your run and debug widget, which allows you to change your run configurations, and then additional functionality in the form of code with me, search everywhere and settings. Next, you'll tell me that I can edit that top toolbar. Funny you should say that. Sometimes there's just one action that you use a lot and you just want to have it a mouse click away. You can right click on the main toolbar and select add to main toolbar and then choose your action. For example, show history. I use multiple projects. Can it help me with that? Of course, you can distinguish multiple projects at a glance by right clicking on your toolbar and changing your project color. Okay, nice. Can I rearrange my tool windows as well? Yep. And with the new UI, you can configure them your way. You can drag them below the separator to display two tool windows vertically, or you can drag one over to the right to display them horizontally. Don't forget, you can use Command Shift and F12 or Control Shift and F12 to hide all your tool windows. All right then, is there anything else I need to know? Yep, we've simplified the debug tool window based on the actions you use the most. So it's just a single toolbar now for more space. That said, if the actions you use the most are not available, you can add them back. We can just right click, go to add actions, and then search for the action that we're missing. For example, evaluate expression. The new UI is a really nice update to the JetBrains IDEs. Go ahead, enable it and see what you can develop.